It's been a while, but welcome back to ASUS Creators Academy. For today, we'll be sharing tips on how to use After Effects, mainly to remove background even if it's not shot in front of a green screen, and to add in an interesting visual effect for your video. For today, we'll be using the ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED, with the pretty interesting physical DAO that can be used to access a range of features through the ProArt Creators Hub. This laptop is certainly unique and might possibly boost your productive workflow. Who knows? But without further ado, let's get the editing started. Today, we are going to remove the character from the background. Now, this action normally needs to rely on green screens in the past, but now in this modern era, After Effects has introduced a new tool called Roto Brush 2.0 back in 2020. This tool really simplifies the process of background removal. Before using Roto Brush, we have to make sure that the composition settings and video format need to be the same. For example, this footage is in 24 frames per second, but the composition we set earlier was 30 frames per second, so we will have to adjust the frame rate to 24 frames per second to match with the video, to make sure that Roto Brush will be able to operate smoothly. The Roto Brush 2 is located at the upper left corner. Click on it and hold on to the control key to adjust the brush size. Or we can also use the ASUS dial as mentioned earlier, which is a physical controller that can allow you to do just that as well. Easily control the brush size to your desire and many other different functions. In any case, after doing so, we can now drag the mouse onto the object itself. Roto Brush is going to automatically determine the edge to help you select your object. Now of course, during the object selection process, Roto Brush is going to have some misjudgments here and there and might overly select the extra area. But don't worry, we can fix this by pressing onto the Alt key and just simply remove the extra area. Additionally, Roto Brush has also provided a few display modes for us to check on the selected area. If extra refinement is required, we can then go on to the effects control. Here, we can adjust the quality to best and we can also adjust on the feather, contrast, shift edge, and reduce shatter to smoothen the edge to your desire. If the object is not still and stationary but rather moving, we can also tick on the use motion blur to get the best result in area selection. In most cases, the most challenging part in object selection would be the situation where we would need to select hair. Rotobrush has another function called refine edge, where we would be able to, well, refine the edge. When using this Refine Edge function, we just have to depict on the purple line and the hair will automatically get detected. So now, after all the area selection process, we can then get the AI to start on tracking the object's motion. During the process, if the AI didn't track nicely and accurately, we can press on the spacebar to pause the video. And then we can go in and use Roto Brush or Refine Edge 2 to adjust manually. Do as you like, depending on your footage. After the tracking, we have to click on the Freeze button to make sure the results are being saved. Additionally, just to make sure that if in the event we need to change the selection area later on, we need to unfreeze the footage too. Here, we can see that after we remove the background, it has become all black or empty if you will. And now we are able to add in a new background for the object and transform it to a whole new scene. Or in another way, we can also add in some interactive graphics to the original scene. In this instance, we can copy the background layer and delete the roto brush in the effects control panel to recover the background. We can then import some, say, neon city background here and drag it between the object and the background, or rather the original background. We can also adjust the blending mode of this neon element to make it blend in with our original background. And here's the result. So that's basically a really simple and quick method on how to use After Effects to remove the background in your footage, even if it's not shot in front of a green screen. Feel free to play around with your creativity and make your videos pop just that little bit more. And that's pretty much it for now. As usual, if you're interested in everything else that ASUS Creators Academy has to offer, please do check out the links in the description. We are sure that there's plenty that can help get your creativity going. We hope it's been fruitful, have fun editing, and we'll see you guys in the next one.